naturally kinky curly hair is a very unique strand of hair. It grows up and out. In order to conform the hair into a bun, the hair needs to be slicked down or you know, either altered chemically or with heat. For a lot of us, braids and twists allow for our hair to meet military and army standards. So taking away those options kind of left us with unhealthy alternatives. I want people to understand why it's so important that dreadlocks can work in uniform. I didn't want to sacrifice my cultural identity to serve in uniform. I wanted a way to marry the two. Dreadlocks was banned since 2005 across pretty much all of the branches. Back in March 2014, the Army issued out an update to AR 670-1, which is our hair and grooming policy. And within that policy, there were certain restrictions with certain hairstyles. To include two-strand twists, there was a braid size restriction and there was a ban on dreadlocks. And you could be removed from serving. It's easy to say what's the big deal or it's just hair when you're not the one that's disproportionately being affected by it. Oftentimes we've seen within history how features that are specific to African Americans have been used as a way to discriminate. I chose to wear a wig. Every, every morning I would put on a, what I considered to be a costume. It just wasn't who I, I was. I, I would wear a, a straight bob. I felt like I lost a part of myself. A lot of us, to include myself, felt disappointment. Wearing those hairstyles never impacted the way we did our job, the missions that we carried out, and we felt as though something needed to be done about it. In 2014, the Coast Guard were actually the first ones to include locks. And then shortly after, the Marine Corps in 2015 did the same. And it was inspiration for me to want to do the same thing for the Army. When people initially think of locks or dreadlocks, they think of marijuana, Rastafarianism, and they fail to realize that there's a spectrum with this particular hairstyle. We've seen cases within schools where students are being sent home from wearing locks, braids, ethnic hairstyles. I want to be an example where young boys and girls can have pride within themselves and they can realize that the hair that grows out of their head, it belongs in any setting, it belongs in any institution, and they shouldn't feel as though they're being marginalized.